Hey, hi all. Welcome back to Peer Knowledge Center. So far, uh, in the low cast, we have just seen like you know running of a small web test and load test and uh, uh, run through a web interface and uh, console using uh, hyphen hyphen headless. But I wanted to make the data uh, dynamically send it to API or website and see like how it is uh, getting response back to client. That means I just wanted to um, parameterize the request uh, parameters with the dynamic values somewhere, which is in a uh, database or platform or CSV or JSON file, and then see like how it is getting back the response from the uh, API using global stuff. Okay. Let me get quickly get into this demonstration part. I'm just opening my editor here. So <clears throat> for this, so what I did is, so I have a folder here, you can see that. So, so as part of explaining this demonstration, like so far we, just, we have just seen that, like how to um, run the normal method using HTTP user and then fast HTTP user or normal user without um, you know, having client uh, HTTP web and also using HTTP user sending these post and get methods. Now, I just wanted to uh, create a, a dynamic request parameter. So with the data coming through different channels and then pass the data to API and see like how it is working. So, to do that, I just created a here data parameterization folder here and I have some data here, locations data, basically location ID and location name. I think uh, location ID, location name and location number and location address one and location address two and location country and location city. So these are the column names and under that I have uh, values like you no know, populated by records. So to get this dynamic data, so I must read, I must read through uh, a CSV a read uh, package of Python. So I must have a separate Python file here. Hence I have written a separate file here to read CSV file. Just imported CSV and uh, random, uh, you know, the uh, um, packages here. And I just created a CSV read. So, and I defined an initial method, which is by default having itself and file. So when when I pass a file path to this, so I'm going to open to open uh, our function here. It is going to open and keep the data in file. And that file content I'm reading through a dict reader, right? That data I'm going to pass through this self.reader, right? And here, this is going to read the concept, right? This is initiating the file path and send through this function and read the data. Now, and the same way, this is a parameterization demo. This is my Locust uh, web test file here. So I just imported JSON anyway because I wanted to pass uh, the uh, input in JSON format. And then I need HTTP user and constraint and task and secret to task set. And I need to uh, uh, add a reference or import a package of the separate file what we have uh, seen just now to read CSV file into this uh, Python file. So I'm just uh, read location data from CSV read. So if you look at here, this is the uh, file we have created with the read location data, right? I'm just importing read location data, right, of the CSV read class. So CSV read class, I'm re reading through this particular file. And this is my script as usual. So I'm just decorated task here, decorating by other task. And I just, uh, you know, mention, uh, I think, uh, the request. This is the request for updating, right? I think I can say, um, okay, request, update location. I'm going to update location, right? So this is the file path I'm giving here, or test data variable I'm just assigning equal to CSV read of or this file path I'm passing. When I pass this file path to CSV reader, and if you come here, so this, this unique function will invoke it and it will load and read all the content in the reader, right? So now, 
once I get the data here, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to build a, a JSON which actually I required for that. So if you look at my API, right? So this is uh, the where you got my IP. So this is my API, right? I have these three locations, right? So I have three locations and I just wanted to add another location here or whatever locations I tapped in my CSV file, all the locations I wanted to add to um, you know, um, this uh, locust here file. So, and I wanted to see how the, the API performance is happening when I do update or add a location. This is not update, this is just save location, right? So, I'm just getting data. So, I think let's change location ID, location name, location number. So these are the header names we are given in the CSV file. This end up change this, right? I'm getting all these data and keeping in the data. I'm just printing that stuff here, okay? And with the cell that client that post here, I'm just saving the location sense. I must use save. I must use a post at HTTP web instead of get. So post and the locations and I'm just keeping the response, no caching. And JSON and passing data and keeping the response in the response object. Okay. If the response code is 200, I'm just saying the success rule and then printing content. Okay. Otherwise, I'm just saying failing in processing locations data. Okay. And this is my uh, function, basically, a save location function. And coming to my initiator here, the, 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 the locals uh, started from here. And I'm just passing HTTP user, and this is what the, my host name that means the uh, API uh, domain name on the URL and the uh, wait time I just mentioned one, right? I'm just sending my scripts to this variable task. So when I run this, what it will happen is it is going to you know add locations to my existing locations. Okay, so to understand more on that, I think uh, better we uh, write another function if you want it, right? So let me, I think we'll do that first, okay? I'm just running this locust, easy data parameterization, uh, okay? Come up here, I'm just closing. Locust minus f parameterization demo uh, without uh, uh, you know UI. I'm just uh, running this. We'll see like how it is happening. Um, user right one user target time is one headless. When I run this, it has read the content here right. One location that is reader that is one one three, right? Because like, we used random there in the read location data, right? So this is where we used random. So it is going to pick up my entry randomly from this location data. Now it it has picked up the third row, right? You can see that stuff here. <coughs> so it has picked up the third row. This is one third row it has picked up, and it has built a Required dates and location, ID name and uh, number, address one address two, country, city, etc. And then it ran, it started you know, passing this response to my location safe here. <coughs> so now it was successfully ran through. It seems something happened in response to failure in processing location data. What happened? Number. Okay. Mm, what is the design problem? I think this is because this has been passed and it has been executed, right? And post request has sent that, but I see an error. Failure in processing locations data. Why? Because it has not written status true again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see the API. 
so that you will get an idea. Yeah, it has added. The request has been sent. Might be the response code is not 200. Okay, let us print that if it, that is the case and see what is happening. Okay. Um, Post method response code. We see that and uh, we'll check. Oh, well, again, run that. Okay. Response code. Where is that? I should mention that. Error report. 201 is coming out. So it is also a successful. Uh, HTTP status for here, so I think uh, we must change that, right? This is 200 or Okay, let me try now. Yeah, there is no issue here. It looks good. So it has taken now uh, 112. It has processed and it has written 201. And it, did, it, 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 it is entered here. And it has displayed the error content. So not this error. And also you can see and uh, uh, now confirm that location is added. Yeah, the location is 112, two times added, right? So I'm just refreshing this. Again, um, it's better to run. Let me see that. I'll restart my API so that um, I'll have a fresh location entries. Okay. Now, going back here, now this time I'll run through um, you now uh, to call uh, the uh, locus to web interface. So, I have uh, three locations by default, it is coming through this API. And coming here and in my locus view, right? This time I'm running through, uh, you know, uh, web interface. Just run this. And this was started interface going back here. And HTTP is a web interface. I'm running for, uh, like, you know, five users, right? Five seconds. You just start attack. Then it will start sending a post request. Look at here, post request it is sending for 15, 25. So how many requests you are sending through those many entries will get added to your locations, right? Let us stop now. 63 are been sent in. Let's stop it, right? 73, 75. So, and going to your, you know, this uh, console, you can see uh, those many requests being sent to your server, right? And going back to your locations, you have only three, right? Just refresh this and see like how many are added. Better for understanding, just keep that. So all the 73 locations are added, right? That means my uh, API is working through a locus view, right? And now go back to your charts and see that response time. So here, no data. And here, this is the time it has taken for five users. And here, and here, and here. And also you can see that, so these are the response time in the milliseconds, right? So, okay, fine. And users are constant, right? If you want to download the data, you can easily download it. So five requests has been sent per second, right? So aggregated 75, 55, 22, 266 milliseconds have taken, 144, 141 average. So response time statistics, if you look at here, these are the requests sent and the response time if you look at here. So uh, almost everything is fine, 270 milliseconds, right? And if you look at the chart, so it started this way, this way, this way. So it has again uh, leveraged here, 4.5 and here 4, and this is a 4.5, no failures. And if you look at the response time, so I think this is a, a median response time and this is the percentage file, right? And you can look at here, everything is fine, a number of users, right? So this is something uh, report, you can see no failures, no exceptions, everything good, looks 
all streams good now so going back here and you can stop the you no know, local show file right now you can see the same stuff here right locations post request so what i'm trying to uh, you know explain about this theory so how we are passing the dynamic data in my case this is the dynamic data coming from a csv file and in, in, in mediator it has another file of python where it is reading dynamically csv file and get to uh, random rows and pass it to this particular api right and in the entire scenario this is what the scenario actually i'm going to you know test it to local so like how it is performing so how it is performing for a um, couple of users like in this case we have seen like you know, almost 73 uh, uh, requests are processed in mean, 73 users are sent to uh, my web server for that api location so it looks very good because everything happened in the milliseconds similarly if you wanted to test that a um, couple of scenarios and you just feed the data in from where external files and read through csv or json or database and then pass it to your python file and see that matrix from stats in the locust okay i hope you understand you know how to um, get the data uh, from a static file and pass it to your api via locust okay so, so thanks for listening this video and um, please subscribe this channel for uh, more videos thank you